So like I've said before, life is never boring at Whippoorwill Holler. Here it is the next morning, and we are trying to get to work. But about 1 o'clock this morning, we had a bad storm come through, and it done some damage. Um, there's trees down everywhere, all over the roads. This is our main road to get out, to get to work. And uh, Danny's having to get this tree cut up and get it out of the way. Uh, we've got neighbors and stuff that need to go to work. There's evidently trees down on Danny's bus routes. And um, the creeks are up. And our school has no electricity. So we're probably going to end up not having school today. tree cut out of the road and we made it to school. Well come to find out there's no electricity at school. And a lot of the country, several towns though. Several towns not too uh, well they're pretty close to us and there's another school that uh, had to shut down I guess because the electric out. There's trees evidently down everywhere on some of the bus routes and stuff like that. Yes. Creeks are up. So we went <laughs> we went back home. Ate some breakfast. Ate some breakfast. Too wet to do anything at home. I mean wet. Can't mow. And the garden, I mean the garden's okay. It is flooded but all my potatoes got blew down. <laughs> my big pretty potatoes got blew down, but they'll probably stand back up, most of them. Had some real strong wind last night. And some places had some really strong straight line winds. And I guess that's why a lot of them trees are down probably in that area too. So when you can't do nothing else, what do you do? You go fishing. <laughs> and go guess, fishing. And guess what, I'm going with him. And he just said, they always say that fishing's not good after a front comes through. It's tougher, usually. Tougher. But, but it's, it's better before a front, but not it after. Is. It's better, usually, before a front. But, but I've got some new electronics, and I'm going to try them out. So, so. Guess And we're what? going to a lake. The rivers are off. They're up and muddy and going to be that way for a few weeks, so... We're going to a local lake up here and see what it looks like. And we're taking y'all with us. So. Maybe we'll catch a fish or two, maybe. And it's supposed to rain some more, so we got to kind of keep an eye on the weather. So. we got a limited time today. The sun's trying to come out a little bit. That'll make it afternoon storms. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, y'all get your sunglasses and your hats on and y'all come with us. Don't you? 
smells good, don't it? So I'm trying out my new fish electronics, and it's very interesting. And I've been seeing these schools of these brim, not knowing for sure what they were. That and there's big and fat, gonna lay eggs, ain't very big. But that's what I've been trying to catch. And I see I went to a smaller bait, and I finally caught one. And throw it back, it's full of eggs.
That'd be good fried up in a frying pan. Be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. He's very big, always. It still tastes good. Come on, turn loose. Okay. They're getting bigger. Nicer fish, ain't it? They're making me hungry. Making you hungry? We are hungry. We're about ready to call it a day. That's pretty bass. Yeah, it is. Pretty, pretty fish. We're not keeping today, though. See, if you'd have kept all of them, we'd have supper we'd tonight. We'd supper now, wouldn't we? <laughs> That's a pretty fish. See, if you stay at something long enough. They're starting to feed, it looks like. Okay, we are fixing to embark onto the best crinkle lemon cookies you've ever ate we're going to start out by using a half a cup of softened butter you don't want it melted butter just at room temperature soft butter if you use melted butter your your cookies will tend to um, want to spread out and not set up good and i'm going to use a cup of sugar and I'm just doing this by hand. I just really don't want to pull out my, my KitchenAid mixer for a little bit of cookie dough, really. Um, it'll come, it's going to come together really quick anyways. And uh, you, can, you can double this recipe. It doubles really well. You know, the thing about lemon, it's such a, a fresh, um, simple, it's just, it's a, I don't know, Anything lemon to me, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just really good. I just love it. Um, my youngest daughter, Allie, she loves anything lemon. Lemon cake, lemon cookies, lemon pie. It don't matter. She just loves it. So I know she's really going to enjoy these cookies. So just keep mixing this till it all gets incorporated, good and smooth. In fact, I think I'm going to get... A bigger spatula. I'm not messing with this little one anymore. Now, the thing about this recipe, you really want to use fresh lemons. You don't. I know somebody's going to ask Miss Lori, can I use just lemon bottled lemon juice? And uh, I'm going to say you can, but it's just not going to be the same because the lemon zest is what brings these cookies over the top. I'm going to put in one egg. You know, you've got different recipes that there's just ingredients that just really just make it so good. So there's some recipes that you can, you know, um, use something different. If you don't have the same ingredient, something you can interchange with. But to me, that's just like making a lemon pie or anything. I want, I want real lemon juice and I want that lemon zest. And uh, because it just makes it taste so much fresher and so much better. And that's why these are some of the best cookies you'll ever eat. I've got two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I have got a good heaping tablespoon of lemon zest. In fact, there's probably a tablespoon and a half. And if I could have got another half, I would have. So two tablespoons of lemon zest is really, is be great. I've got a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. If you don't have lemon extract, you can put in vanilla extract. Um, I've done that before, but I prefer to use lemon. So we're just going to stir this up good. And we just about got it done. I've got a cup and a half of flour. 
I've got a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're just going to mix this up. And that's how easy that is. And I've got my oven heated to 350. I've got parchment paper on my cookie sheet. When I get this mixed up good, I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it chill for about an hour. My kids, some of my kids and a few of my grandkids will be here today. So we're going to bake these cookies so they come straight out of the oven. They'll be warm and they're going to be so good. I hope y'all try this recipe because y'all, it is one of the best. I can see the little bits of uh, lemon zest in there. And to me, that lemon zest is what really makes it good. So let's get this in the refrigerator and get it chilled good. So my story got so preoccupied with the kids and the grandkids that I forgot to turn my camera on and show y'all putting the cookies in the oven. So I'm just going to tell you, all you do is use your cookie scoop, roll your little dough balls, and uh, roll them in powdered sugar, place them on your cookie sheet, kind of press them down a little bit, and bake them at 350 for about 10 to 11 minutes. I like mine a little brown around the edges. And it's simple as that. And they are the most delicious lemon cookies I've ever ate. We just love them. In fact, we ate every last one of them. <laughs> They're so good. And uh, you can double this recipe. It doubles really well. So I'll have my recipe down in the description box. If you love lemon, you will absolutely love these lemon cookies.